standing out in our front yard looking out at the farm fields. This is model home right here. Pete, our neighbor straight across. The guy who was in the gospel group just moved out of that house. Just starting to meet all the neighbors here in the block. They're pretty nice homes. You can get a good idea. Looking down the street. This is our little humble house. Put some plants in right there. And you seem to be doing all right. Fixed the hole in the fence. Got a tree in the front yard. Got about five trees started the backyard. Linda's waiting for us to get going. So we're going to get going on our trip. We'll see you in a little bit. Uh, new neighbors here in the building about a quarter mile. This is the back of our house. Maybe you can see the maple tree right there. Heading down the road. This is the farm across the street from us, about four blocks. Uh, Linda met the lady there from the yard sale. This is the other farm behind her house, about a half mile from our house. Got a lot of, we got horses right here. Lots of horses around here, corn and horses and everything. We're going towards Boise right now. This is the road in. Yeah. I don't want the fur all over. So if you want to play with Snickers... Big corn maze there. Zoom in. Big old Victorian house, brand new. We go by that all the time. It's just huge. Turned off. It's way better. Gee. Well, if you want to show the, um, the waterfalls of Eagle, which you can do that, yeah. we got to go to the bank first. Oh, yeah, I'll turn it off. We used to live right in there in that clump of trees right there. So we, all, we call that the farm dump. That's our new target over there. This is the busy intersection of Chinden and Eagle Road. Eagle Road. show you the water features of the new Eagle intersection there. Eagle River, whatever. And get there's... The okay, I'll get it. She's got a really nice park over there with her kids. Lots of things to play on. Coming out of Boise, we're going to go up Highway 55 to get out of this belt.
watch it. I have a lot of it's gonna be corner Hi Linda, we're at the bison range, just got done shooting some mountains here, so everybody can be good and sleepy when they see it. Kind of a bumpy ride in the car, just wanted to look right Wow, power lines, that's a saddle up there, back it off, Let's see what we're looking at. The Mission Valley, nice place to live, cheap land. A little bit of a snow run there, there's lakes and grizzly bears up in there on the other side, it's real pretty. We're gonna go on. Later today we're going to be on the opposite side of these mountains up by Glacier Lake. This is one of our favorite campsites in Montana at Holland Lake, where we like to come up in the summertime all the time, years past. It's a really neat spot. We used to camp right up there. There's Linda up there walking. We used to camp right up, right along there where that trailer is. At the end of the lake is a big waterfall there. It drops into the lake.
There are about eight cabins along the shore of the lake. They're still here. That if they're ever for sale, it'd be a great thing to buy. It'd be wedged between the Bob Marshall on this side. And, um, straight across the valley, about 10 miles, is the Mission Mount Wilderness. In a little bit, we'll be able to see the mountains of those coming out. It's in that direction. Linda's taking a picture. Say. Holland Lake Lodge. We're out on the front lawn. We are just at that campground. Just standing up there, there by those campers in the woods. Not too long ago. One of the peaks overlooking the, the lodge. This is all the Bob Marshall Wilderness. There's that waterfall that we took a look at about a mile back. There for part of it. Comes down into the lake. Now this is the Mission Mountain side of Holland Lake. So you have the Mission Mountains, McDonald Peak right there. I'm bringing it in slowly. Glacier Lakes right below. We like to hike in there. Linda is trying her sea legs out on the dock here. Swimming dock only. No boats. Ye old barbecue pit here. Oh. Campground right next to the lodge. You can camp all, all down the shore here. Once again, the Mission Mountains. Once again? Yeah. You yeah, swing all the way around. And then the Bob Marshall side. You don't know what kind of beetle that one is. Swimming. Pretty interesting. Yeah. No more steady hand here, huh? One of the cabins you can rent here. Some of the daffodils. East end of the lodge. This isn't too far from where I used to work when I was younger. About a mile or two down the road from here, I worked on the Gordon Ranch. Right up there, it's called Gordon Pass. Tell us the history of it, Andy. Well, there was a Dr. Gordon that owned all this up here to Holland Lake. Hmm. He had a big ranch, and he died with tragic circumstances. I think he was shot and died. But before he died, didn't he have one arm? No. And he went through the camp. So the guy I worked for was Dr. Kessler. He bought the Gordon Ranch in the 1950s. What kind of doctor was he, Andy? He never practiced a day of his life. He graduated from medical school because the dad wanted him to be a doctor. Oh. And and he uh, decided that uh, he never wanted to practice medicine. He just wheeled and dealed in business, and he owned 29 lumber mills before the end of his reign as head president of Intermount Lumber. I, I met him when I was a kid, and went and worked up on his ranch, and we were best friends with his son, Norman Green, which was from a previous son, a stepson. And we had a good time up here for three summers straight, riding horses, swimming in the lake, and working the ranch. Looking at is where Gordon Pass starts, but that's a perfect example of a U-shaped glacial valley, or a hanging valley. It hangs above the lake, and at one time this lake was probably made by a glacier pushed gout and gouged out. This lake's pretty deep. We scuba dived it, went down about 80, 90 feet down a boulder slide, never saw the bottom. That's a hanging valley up there above the falls. Grizzly bears are all back in there. As soon as you get up there, you get into grizzly bear country. There's about three or 400 grizzly bears back in the mountain ranges right here, and they do come down here from time to time. We're going to take a look at cabin numbers four and five here. That's cabin number three. See what they look like. Have no idea. Yeah, it's all got uh, split log finish in there. Twin, twin beds. Got the cool lamps. 
grizzly bear lamps. These are rustic, man. Very rustic, yeah. No. Here, no. Sit. It's got the special sound system there for everybody to enjoy. Yeah, it's just rustic. See what they got up there for a picture. A bunch of buffalo whacking each other. Got a shower and tub. Toilet, what more could you want? Be a sink. That's what more. Looking out the back window. It's got a real good sag in the ceiling. Perfect. Like $230 Here's, a night? No, I don't know what it is. I have to look at that thing. The blue room. They're all blue. Are they? This was blue before. We're now leaving Hall Lake area, going down the road to the main highway. See the Mission Mountains through the tops of the trees. Kind of a dusty road today. Going down to Hamilton. <laughs> There's our Huckleberry Hill. Right there at Victor, Montana. <laughs> Gash Creek. And I said, and then they, I told her about your chest. And she said, oh, look at that kid. You need to get up there. Oh, yeah. Well, it's all back. That's something to do with the Navy Bear. So it's viewing. Lodge Canyon area. They definitely would be kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. They're all like that in Boise with the food on here. <coughs> Boy, I really like the mountains down here. There's got to be a job. The Valley County Old Courthouse and Museum. 